Buddy, how are you? So buddy, how are you? Always nice to see you. Oh, hello. I'd love hello, to meet you guys. That. <laughs> What's up, Russ? Give yourself uh, a little clip there. Right on the right side. Richard. Yeah. Right. How you doing tonight, Johnny? The Emperor of Rock and Roll. Hey. Hey. Richard, lucky to have you. This guy's gonna be on his deathbed and have a guitar in his hand. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Forget, forget about Looking it. Looking forward to it. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, congratulations is in order. The release of your sixth solo album called yes. Fever and your distribution deal with your whole Scarlet catalog. Yes. All right. Give it Thank up. you, Spectre Records, for doing that. Yeah. Thank you. How's my cousin Joanne? <laughs> Joanne's doing great. Well, she hello, said, Joanne. Uh, to to say hi, and then she loves everybody here. Uh, Late night with Johnny P. Yeah. That's it, man. Me and Richie are great friends. He's my brother from another mother, right? Absolutely. That's it. Yeah, we've had wild times. A lot more to come. <laughs> A lot more to come. And how about Russell Wilson? Yeah. yeah. Really good. That was nice. You got to hear this guy in the drums. Unbelievable. So listen, Richie, why don't you talk about the recent recording sessions with uh, what's his name here? Charlie Gracie. Charlie Gracie. Okay, I just uh, Charlie Gracie is a pioneer of rockabilly. Uh, he had three big hits uh, back in 1957, 58. One of them was called Butterfly. He was uh, from Philadelphia. He's from Philadelphia. He's still alive. Uh, and I was, I got the honor to actually play on a soundtrack for a movie that's coming out about his life. Uh, oh, nice. And uh, so that, I just recently did that in Harlem. And that was uh, a real thrill to be able to give back to somebody uh, who had given so much to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was very cool. So uh, that movie comes out in uh, November. Uh, Charlie Gracie, absolutely a rockabilly pioneer. Besides all your stuff you've been doing for all the years, from Tom Reddy's Freely, Leslie West from Mountain, Sebastian Bott, uh, Dennis Dunaway from the Alice Cooper yeah. Band. You still keep yourself busy by producing a lot of uh, local and national acts. Why don't you talk about the people you've been working with the last couple of years? Okay, well, I just finished up uh, a CD that's coming out Halloween uh, weekend by a guy named Greg Woods. Uh, Tarek Solange also co-produced it with me. Uh, excellent CD. I'm working with... Uh, um, the guitarist from the Misfits, yeah. uh, Des Cadena, uh, who was also in Black Flag, uh, just finished producing three tracks for his solo, upcoming solo mm -hmm. CD, and uh, it's phenomenal. And he's, you know, he's a blast. I mean, this cat's a, a punk guitar legend, really, mm -hmm. uh, to that genre, you know, that genre of the Misfits. Yeah, that's great. So, and I also just played on the Misfits' uh, latest single, Land of the Dead, which was very cool, because I'm into horror and yeah. everything. You know? oh, yeah. Not you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, Eric D is another guitarist who I'm also producing. So I'm, you know, you and I, of course I produced NYB Johnny Johnny's band. So uh, NYB, yeah, NYB. Yeah. So uh, I've been keeping busy producing, which I love to do, and uh, you know, it's just a passion to do it. You know, and it's uh, it's a fine line when you produce because you. It's like getting a piece of clay that's uh, semi-sculptured, and you have to kind of cut it and twist it and turn it into a final product. Yeah. yeah. And really, that's what a producer does. And uh, you know, hope that, and you have to pull the best you can out of the artist. That's the other thing in a studio. Like pull yeah. everything you can get out of them. So uh, yeah, so I've been busy them. doing and that. And they're lucky to be molded by you to have you as a producer. Yeah, that's well, for sure. you know, well, I'm sure sometimes you know, that. if a record doesn't sell, they'll say, "Well, the producer, you know, screwed it up." Yeah. Know? But if it sells a lot or does good, then they usually call you back. And if you get the right chemistry with the band, uh, like Jimi Hendrix had with Eddie Kramer, yeah, I was just going to say uh, that it was on my mind. Queen had with Roy Thomas Baker. Uh, you know, certain producers and bands just, uh, you know, they get a they get that chemistry, and uh, so. Uh, that's what, uh, you know, when that works, it's a beautiful thing, right. you know? Well, Eddie Kramer is big. Uh, you had the honor of being produced by Eddie Kramer, right, back in the day? Yes, yeah, so I worked with Eddie. Eddie did, uh, you know, uh, really broke a lot of ground with Jimi Hendrix, and, of course, he went on to work with Zeppelin and Kiss. Kiss, and, yeah. You know, all kinds of people. Yeah, yeah. I learned a lot from watching him work, that's yeah, He's sure. the master. Yep. I hear this is a, a good story that I'm going to ask you to talk about, the dark white video. Yes. Yeah, video. What is that? Yeah, yeah, dark white video. It uh, just got released, which features uh, Russell Wilson and myself. We shot it uh, 
at a place called Wings Castle in Millbrook, New York. And uh, so I'd like to thank Peter Wing for letting us use that property. Even though I don't think he was that happy with us when we left, uh, we ended up kind of tearing his lawn up. But uh, and uh, Dr. Uh, Monty Martyr uh, for getting behind it. And uh, uh, it's a video shot in a swamp, and it's really dedicated to a guy who influenced me a lot, named Sean Bonniewell. Mm -hmm. Sean was in a band called The Music Machine many years ago. Wrote a song called Talk Talk which Alice Cooper uh, redid and a lot of people, but it was, I was a little kid, I heard that song and something just sparked me off and uh, Sean actually wrote the song, Dark White, I got a hold of the demo and then I guess you could say scarletized it. Yeah, right. And he was very happy with what I did with it and so we shot the video. Well listen, we, we have a piece of the video in the control room. Cool. Uh, David, why don't you roll the Dark White video?
McInerra, who directed that video out of Easy Productions, also. Okay. That's a video out of the box for you, too. You're usually running around lighting houses on fire, <laughs> doing crazy shit like that. Yeah, uh, well, these, wow. these guys were really good directors, and they, uh, uh, Zach and Eric, and uh, they, it was a, a journey. No, they did a good mm. job. Yeah. Aside from all the other crazy shit, how's it working with Dr. Richard Garvey with the Humanitarian Richard Garvey, Alliance? one of the best humanitarians on the planet, uh, has been working for all kinds of relief efforts for Japan and for Chile. And wow. uh, so uh, the scrubs and uh, Richard Garvey, it's, it's, it's an honor to work with a man with that kind of integrity. Yeah. Uh, this man, you know, integrity, class, and uh, just a, pa a man who has a passion for life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Richard Garvey, can't get any better. Wow. Emails have come in when people heard that you were going to be on the show, and they want to know what your take is on the new Ace Freely book, No Regrets. I really can't answer that because I haven't, uh, all I ever saw, all I saw was the cover. But I imagine that 90% of that, 95% <laughs> of that book is going to be about Kiss, you know, and in right. a small section, I would imagine it would be about his solo career or maybe, maybe more. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, I lived three lifetimes with that man, so, uh, you know. Uh, it should be entertaining. Yeah, it should be. You know, I'm also waiting for Peter Chris's book. Right. Uh, but uh, Yeah, plug in we'll Peter Chris, the album. Oh. Right. Uh, well, I did Peter's uh, latest record. Uh, it's coming out on Sony sometime uh, this year. I don't really know when, but uh, that was an absolute blast to work with Peter. Yeah. The cat man. Best. You know, uh, My you know, idol. Oh, yeah. No, and I love the man. And uh, we had so much fun. And so, but, you know, it's just uh, uh, a, a great, a, a cool thing to be part of the rebel side of uh, Kiss. Yeah, you know? exactly. You know, uh, so very cool. Well, listen, that, Richie, that's, a, that's our time. Why don't you tell everybody your Facebook, your website, they can get in touch it's with you? It's richiescarlet.com and um, Lucille 4J, uh, the letter 4J, Lucille 4J. You can reach me through that email. And, uh, at AOL. At AOL.com. And right. just go to YouTube and uh, check out Dark White. And you can go to Amazon for all the, my whole catalog. And that, so buy it all, download it all. iTunes. So, <laughs> Richie's new to all the internet wanna, stuff. It's on yeah. iTunes, Amazon. And I thank yeah. you, Richie, because yeah. this is like, a classic, what he gave oh, me, me right here. Really this, is, this is pretty Richie's awesome. Richie's classic is what I wrote. 20 I wrote. years ago. What does that say, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> to Dana, the hottest chick on TV. That's it. That's it. Thank you. That's all well, listen, Richie, it's always a pleasure. I love you, baby. I'll see you New Year's Eve. You got it. Thanks, Russell, guys. take care. Thank you. Thanks, Richie Scarlett, Russ Wilson. All right. It's been one of those nights. It's That's been it. one of those nights. That's what happens when you public access, anything can happen. Right. Raffle winners, we spit it out. <laughs> we want to announce the raffle winners.